Market's pumping right now. You're asking yourself, was it a good idea to be such a flaming pussy the last few weeks? Obviously no, you should be eating more steak. But without hyperbole, I'm gonna show you something in this video. If this happens in the market, these coins and this area of investment right here is going to deliver clean 20, 30 Xs. I'm investing millions of dollars in it, which ironically, the last time I said I'm buying millions of dollars of crypto and you should too was June 13th, which was actually the lowest of lows we saw in the crypto market. Here's Solana at the lowest point. It went absolutely. Heck, Matic has done nearly a 3X from our buying points we talked about in that video. ETH went from $800 to $1,500 in this time frame. So for all the dirty troll reply guys who lost their me for suggesting it might have been a decent time to buy. <laughs> Congratulations, you've now joined the Cardano holders in, in the worst people, the worst traders of 2022 in crypto. <laughs> Give yourself a round of applause. Tell your wife's boyfriend he is, he's is he got a job for at least the next year. Because you ain't making rent, you ain't making the Netflix bill for a while now. So it's okay, it's okay. He, he does pretty well, you're gonna be fine. When I see this happen, it has not happened yet. That's why this video is important. That's why it's important that you watch it. So that when it happens, whether it's a few weeks from now or a few months from now, you're like, ah, because it's happened many times in crypto before, it is going to happen again. It is virtually guaranteed to happen again if crypto has any future whatsoever. And all you have to do is know what to look for. And one of the things I'm gonna show you in this video is what signaled to me at least that this was a good time to be buying the last few weeks and is signaling to me that it's time to at least be taking the market very, very seriously. This is something that no one else is looking at. I don't get why they're not looking at it, but it makes crystal clear sense of where the markets are right now and what we can be expecting here. And look guys, I can go most woke here make jokes about your low testosterone levels and how you can get permission from your wife's boyfriend to invest in the market the last few weeks. But I want to be non-hyperbolic here because this is actually pretty straightforward crap. And it doesn't require you to FOMO into anything right now. But what you have to do is give me a few minutes to give you context on this, or you're gonna be like every other idiot who reads the headline of these videos and thinks I'm suggesting you FOMO in the market. No, there's a huge opportunity coming up. So without further ado, let's just skip the jokes this time. Let's just dive into it. But before we do, follow me on Twitter at ZSS Becker. I'm the CEO of a software company. I don't always have time to make these videos because they take a while. I post everything I see on Twitter. And if you're going to see or catch what I'm going to talk about in this video, that's where I'm going to talk about it the second I see it. I won't always have time to make these videos. So follow me there. So first thing we got to do is look at the market. Now, I want you to stress, this video is not about FOMOing in and right now, all right? If you've not been DCAing the last few weeks due to being an absolute and utter p that's on you, you messed up. But what I want to do in this video is give you things to prepare for and look into. And if you nail these things, you will make a lot of money. But the most important takeaway from this video is not to be like every other person in crypto who just locks themselves in a toilet seat and will not get off or change their opinion no matter what happens. What we wanna do is look at different outcomes here, look at the most likely outcome and prepare for it, and also look at the unlikely outcomes and prepare for those as well so we can make money in any case. See, this time what we're gonna try and do is we're gonna try to read what is going to happen before the market actually does it, not get it 64K Bitcoin and tell everyone at Thanksgiving to FOMO in. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly where all the hits are, but you're going to have to do your own research right here, but you have probably weeks to months to do this. And if you're looking for another man to put a collar on you and lead you around by the leash with your investment portfolio, that's not the place to do this. There's plenty of other kinky channels you can go do that at. Or heck, if you're a Cardano holder, you can just ask your wife's boyfriend to do it. Maybe he's feeling nice. Maybe he'll actually, you know, give you a, a ham treat. Now, there's going to be a huge opportunity right here if we keep going up, but we're not there yet. And what I'm looking at right now is the 2017, 2018 Bitcoin chart. The most likely thing that's happening right here, if we look at Bitcoin historically. Now, again, looking at Bitcoin historically isn't really the best thing to do because the amount of money that was in the market here and the amount of money that's in the market now, the way the world views cryptocurrency, the way the whole entire economy and the macroeconomics of the entire world right now are dramatically different. Okay, it's, it's like saying, it's like predicting whether a business is going to be profitable or not at a time when it was raining money and now there's poop all over the windows and there's homeless people screaming and rubbing their nipples outside. There's different things going on inside in the world right now. And so the things that are going to impact this business are very different. However, what we're looking at right here is probably more than likely a bear market rally. And what's going to happen right here is we're going to come right back down to the baselines we're at right now. And it's time to really start just DCAing again. Okay. So I was screaming the DCA the past few weeks. Now everything's pumped. Okay. It's not time to be really jumping into top 25 coins right now. 
the main plane of attack, if we see what is most likely to happen, is to wait for this to rise up and then wait for it to come back down and start DCAing all over again. If you want a good structurally boring way to invest in this bear market, watch my last video because my plan of attack right now is to simply DCA at local lows. So this is a low right here, of course, but if you got in right here, you get in right here on these flat line points, you're doing pretty well. The number one thing we want to avoid is investing in pumps. And what we're trying to do with our investments right now, our boring investments, is DCA in at good prices before this happens next. If you believe crypto has any future whatsoever, this is what's coming again. You're going to see Bitcoin and Ethereum and all the top 25 coins go much higher. But let's also think about this right here. Here's what the opportunity is. Here's where I plan to invest millions of dollars if I see this right now or if I see it in a few years or a few months. We have to be ready for this. We have to have a plan. So look, check this out right here. What, what's going to happen right here? We've been looking and investing in top 25 coins right here. I'm not doing that anymore. But that's going to be a real bummer if we do return to a bear market right now. Okay, so I'm not I'm not FOMOing into Salon at this point. I'm not FOMOing in the Matic. We were supposed to buy those a few weeks ago. But what if we go to a, a bull market? Well, that sucks. We're missing on the pump on all those things. No, it is extremely risky to invest in them right now. But if we see the market continue, there is a whole other subset of coins we can get into to see much higher ROIs in a much faster time frame. We can jump into these things ride them up very quickly and get out at a big profit or write them really, really, really the crazy numbers in a future bull market. But we need to wait for that sign. So what's going to happen right here? Say we, we don't go back to uh, our, our bare lows right here. And the market just keeps going and going and going. Say we pass $35,000 Bitcoin, $30,000 Bitcoin. There's a subset of coins we want to be getting into. And I'm going to get into that in this video. That's where I'm going to be investing those millions of dollars at. And it, that is, in my opinion, what is coming up in this market right here is the single best way to make life-changing wealth. But you got to be ready to catch on to it. And it's not right now. Again, I'm trying to help you prepare for this and not FOMO in the crap. So the final question right here, like I talked about at the beginning of this video, well, why should we feel comfortable investing even at these lows right here. Look, if you've been on Twitter, you know I've been at war with these these awful, nasty, nasty creatures. They have a sub 40 IQ. They have the testosterone of a baby female seal and they have the emotional stability of SpongeBob SquarePants. These are what I like to call it'll go lower bros, okay? They live on the rocks because they told everyone to buy 64K Bitcoin. And then a few weeks ago, they screamed at everyone that they were idiots. Uh, for buying a 17k bitcoin and for all the people that fall in that category this is why your father refers to you as it you got to stop behaving this way that being said how do i how do i think differently than these these creatures these sweaty sweaty dumpster dwelling animals here's why see what everybody's predicting right here is if you look at the S&P 500, which is not crypto, I'm aware of that, thank you. I, I'm aware this is not a crypto coin. That being said, everyone in the, the S&P 500 right now is terrified that we're gonna go back to this low right here, 3,300. This is what everybody's talking about, a massive drop from right here. And the reason why the S&P 500 is relative is because as this bear market continues in these economic climates, Bitcoin and, and all of the crypto market is really going to follow the S&P 500 until we see mass adoption happening, which could happen in the next year or two years or so. Okay, that's a whole other video. It's a whole other video. This video is all about on the pretense we're going to keep following the S&P 500. If you look at everything that happened, we followed around like a, a baby seal. Okay, so why don't I think we're going back to 3300 right here? Here is why. All right. So a lot of people think we are at this point right here, 3300. Well, we're at 3800 right now. They think we're, we're still way up in the markets. We have a lot more room to go. Okay. This would be true if this number equals this number right here, but it doesn't. There's been so much money printing and the money supply has been so inflated that this number is actually higher than this number right here in buying power. So for example, if you had $1,000 in your portfolio right here and we go all the way back to the same exact price, so we go from 3,300 all the way back down to 3,300, you don't still have $1,000 in buying power in 2020 dollars. You actually have about $500 in buying power in 2020 dollars. Your, your net worth is your net worth and buying power has been cut in half. So if you go and look at this, this is the M2 money supply. I'm not going to break all of this down. If you have any experience investing whatsoever, you know what the M2 money supply is. If you don't go to YouTube and look up what the M2 money supply is in the short, narrow purple crown explanation of this, this is a really good way to judge the actual value of any asset by buying power. 
okay, by what you can buy with it. So for example, I'm going to restate this one more time for the glue eaters. It is a way to judge them by their actual value. So let's imagine pre-pandemic, you had you had $1,000 in Amazon stock, and then the Amazon stock doubled at the peak of this bubble right here. You didn't actually make a thousand and more dollars. $2,000 is equal to a thousand dollars after all the money printing and inflation and nonsense that has happened. And so if you go from a thousand dollars to two thousand dollars of equivalent buying power, okay, you can get the same amount of food for this two thousand dollars as you used to for a thousand dollars right here. And then it goes all the way back to a thousand dollars. You actually, we're not crashing back to break even, we're crashing to about five hundred dollars worth of value at this time. So you actually lost half of your net worth. You can now get half the amount of groceries you could for this thousand dollars for the thousand dollars now. That's what you have to keep in mind right here. So imagine this right here. This is the uh, COVID crash right here. This is like the absolute low, the lowest, the most terrible sh world ended right here. Now, if you look at the S&P 500, we are way, we went way past that. We made a ton of money this time. If you actually look at the buying power of the S&P 500 during this time, we barely got back to break even. We didn't make money the last five years in S&P 500. This was just inflation and money printing. The buying power of the S&P 500 at its absolute peak was the equivalent to what it was pre-COVID. This entire time, we didn't, people think we recovered from the COVID crash right about here. We didn't recover from the COVID crash until almost two years later. That's what you need to keep in mind right now. And so when people are saying, all right, this is where we're at right now. So they're saying we're still way up. We're still way up compared to where we were pre COVID. No, we're way below buying power than where we were pre COVID. And if you go and actually line these prices up right here, the lows we were at recently, we're only about 12% away from the absolute lows of the COVID crash. Okay. So to make this even clearer for you, this price right here where we're at right now is almost equal to the lows of COVID. We've already crashed a F ton. People have already lost way more than they think. If your portfolio is break even right now from where you were pre-COVID, you lost nearly 50% of your buying power. And I can make another video on this really going to how this happened in 1929. It happened in the inflation in the 70s and 80s. But to make it just purple crayon for you, we are already well, almost near the COVID lows. And so the reason why I think it's a bottom on top of other opinions that I've seen and whatnot is because in order for us to crash down to these lows, we have to see something worse than COVID happen. Besides inflation right now and the war in Ukraine, I don't see something worse than COVID happening. If something worse than COVID does happen, yeah, we could go much lower than this. However, we're not nearly as high as we think we are. We are actually about at these points right here. We've already crashed a whole, whole lot. If we return to the COVID price right here of 3,300, we're actually well below where we were in the COVID crash by actual value. So there's a lot of other things that are coming out. I think last this last reading was the peak inflation. I don't know if earnings are going to be that bad. And I think CPI is coming in lower next month. So all this being said, what, what do I draw from this? I think we're going to see this right here. And I think where we saw 70K Bitcoin, give or take $3,000 either way is pretty much around where the bottom of the markets are going to be. Now, in my perspective, I think there's also a very likely chance we do see some black swan over the next two, three years. However, I think we will recover from that. And I think that will just be another buying opportunity. And so my move right now is to wait this out. Okay, wait it out. And then just keep buying these lows right here. Because I think this is where we're going to see the bomber. We're probably going to see a bomb around 15 to 17 K Bitcoin. That's why I'm not FOMOing in right now. That's why I'm not rubbing cheese all over my body and celebrating. Okay. I'm just accumulating at these levels right here. When we see these pumps, I stop accumulating. And stuff like this is why I think we're really at a bomb on top of some other things that I've seen. And so that's the first move. Wait for things to go back low. Start DCing and all the things I talked about last video. Simple as pie. Fairly low risk. And heck, if you want to, you want to make some quick cash, you can, you can flip these things in the pumps at these DCA lows right here. But what if we don't? What if we go into a turbo market? What if, what if, holy crap, we're getting a triple top market. It's time to act like irresponsible flaming assholes again. What, what if that happens? This is what we do. All right. Now I've talked about this in other videos. All right. The gaming market. This is where I'm going to be investing millions of dollars. 
but not right now. Here's why. Here's why. Let me give you the bad case, because everyone be like, Alex Becker makes videos telling people to follow on court. Yes, if you read the titles of my videos and you eat your own sh your IQ and brain might be so messed up that you can take that as what I'm trying to say here. For everybody else here that's reading levels above Berenstein Bears, here's the takeaway right here. What is most likely to happen during this time period right here is Bitcoin does this Fuguazi right here. It bounces around, does this. Alts and micro caps will go lower and lower, especially the ones outside the top 25. So what's likely going to happen right here, if we go down to like something like Vulcan Forge, one of my favorites. Okay, I think it's going to do really well here. It's, it's absolutely skyrocketing right here. It's probably going to go even lower than this if we return to bear market DCA levels. Getting a 2x on these coins is not great for losing another 50-60% high risk. It's just not right now. If you want to be a if you want to be a high risk gambling person right now, by all means, just just get into these right now. But it is high risk, too high risk for me to be investing a lot of substantial money into it. Okay, so that's why I'm not investing in these things till I see Bitcoin at least go past thirty five thousand dollars. At least go past thirty five thousand dollars because here is exactly what will happen. So if we go and look at Bitcoin right here. All right, we're going to use the historic charts that are so wonderful. We can just predict everything on. It tells you what's going to happen every time. Do to do. I ate glue. All right, but look, if we look at this right here, here's when Bitcoin really started taking off from COVID. And you can see as Bitcoin started taking off right here, it, it was not until we're looking at about December right here when it, when it really went past its last all-time high or return to all-time high. And here's where it busted it. All right, December 17th. So let's go look at Sandbox right here and where it was at this time. We got Sandbox right here. And when did this really start pumping up? So check this out. Here's, here's December 17th. Here's when Sandbox, it didn't start moving until Bitcoin was well past, where was it in, in, in March? Bitcoin's at like $54,000. Like it's it's charging full, full steam ahead. And so it really wasn't until Bitcoin made massive moves that these coins really started to move. Like massive, like we're clearly in a bull run move. And if you invested at that time in coins I'm about to talk about here, you made many, 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 many X's. And so what we do right now, if Bitcoin does return the bull, we see it jump up to $40,000. Elon Musk says he not only owns Bitcoin, but he bathes in Bitcoin. And Joe Biden goes on stage and takes off his shirt and, and has a Bitcoin tattoo on his chest before keeling over. Say that happens. Well, what do we do at this point? What we're going to do is we're going to come down to the gaming tokens. Why? These things are down 90, 95%. The market cap of all these coins is going to go to trillions of dollars here, especially when these things all start launching here and it starts going more mainstream. There is no market cap that is so undervalued and, and stupid lows than, coin, than these coins right now and has such a surefire chance of becoming a cataclysmically large market. Now, look, if you are interested in catching this trend, I'm gonna talk about it enough in this video that you can do very well on it. One of my biggest interests in crypto is gaming crypto because I love video games. I love the concept of Ready Player One. And I I, I think the, the spaces in it are just going to deliver the biggest ROIs. That's why myself and Elliot Trades made Neo Tokyo. And what it is, is super simple. I just stated what I believe in. Gaming crypto is going to a multi-trillion dollar market cap. The games, companies, Coins inside it and NFTs are going to deliver outlandish returns. On top of that, people that build in it are going to be the next billionaires, some of the richest people on earth, in my opinion. I think something like Ready Player One is going to happen, and so do lots of other people. That's how we all came together and made an NFT community around that. And so everything we do in Neo Tokyo lives and breathes about gaming crypto. So look, if you're a person that's trying to like get rich quick or make some quick flip or you don't really care about that or you want people to just hand feed you coin picks so you can get rich this is not for you we hate you please stay away if you're a person that's really interested in working with founders or a founder that wants to come in and get tons of exposure for your gaming project if you like the fact that we give access to tons of projects super early we bring in the founders have them do amas and what we also have is for example we have an ido system which is where basically you can come in and you can get access or invest very very early in new gaming projects that said if you like the idea of that it's just going to the top of my twitter and grabbing an s1 while well, they're still in a dip there's only like 20 of them left before the floor just absolutely skyrockets because there's not very many of them to begin with. The only ones that generate bytes, which is what the entire project runs on, all the systems, the, the apps that are built inside the project, 
that's what it runs on. S1s are the only ones who can generate that. There's not very many of them left. If you like everything I talked about, you should come join. Come check it out. There's a link in my Twitter. But the reason we're so interested is because there's no coins that are going to blow up more than gaming coins. And so the second this happens, what I'm going to do is I'm coming right over and going into the top gaming projects. For example, Vulcan Forged, one of my favorites. And again, I am not picking projects for you right now. Go research these. Take active interest in this shit. You are going to be able to find so many things that I can get into. And if I mention these things on the channel, they go up and you're going to be way too late. Okay. And if anything, I'm giving you a lot of these ideas right here way before people are going to invest in them. Okay. So Vulcan Forge is one of my favorites right here. It's a huge studio that's making a ton of background technology for crypto gaming as well. It used to be at its peak $45. Okay. This has so much room to run if we just go back to where it was in, its la in the last bull run. Again, I don't think that's happening in the pump that's happening right now. So put your underwear back on. Relax, dude. But the move to make is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to have a list of projects that I'm going to start digging into. Projects like VRA, projects like Cedify. And if you're interested in these projects and what they're doing, I have an entire video talking about how I trade these microcaps. Because what is going to happen, instead of me telling and picking projects for you right now, what's going to happen is right after Bitcoin goes and really busts its old all-time high, or starts getting around that, these coins are going to start to move. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the really good projects that are down here at like $7 million market cap. There's so many projects that are going to be up here in the billion-dollar market caps that are all the way down here. And I'm going to make a video here in the future talking about the top things I'm looking at in, in crypto gaming, more so based on the technology. That's why you should subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter because those are the things I'm going to be pointing out. But for like example, last time we were talking about and using this, this, uh, this system right here that I'm talking about right here, we got in the UFO way down here. All right, this is when Bitcoin was going and busting its all-time high again. Okay, And then it went all the way up here, made an absolute killing on a lot of these like Vulcan Forge and Cedify. And Altura, it was multiple 30, 45 X's. That's what the beginning of this video, I said, we can make 20, 30 X's here. That's not me being hyperbolic. This isn't financial advice. That's just what happens when these markets are going to return to crypto gaming. And so you wait for Bitcoin to go and make that move. You wait for Bitcoin to go and really make this move. So you don't have to get FOMO or anything right now. More than likely, what we're seeing right here is going to be this. All right. You don't have to be FOMOing right here. You could sell right here. I, I would be selling my altcoins right here if I wasn't holding for the next bull run in the coins I have. But if it doesn't right here, you can really sit back and chill until Bitcoin starts to do this. Okay. When it starts to do this right here, that's when you go and load up this list of coins. Because trust me, retail and the mass markets and the, and the, and the traders, they're, they're out of this crap right now. It's, these things are at such cataclysmic lows, they're not really going to start to move until the market really comes back. And so again, if we return the bull run, we just roll into these and ride these up two, three, five X's. We're not going to jump into altcoins like Solana and Matic right now at the risk of a huge downturn right now. We're just, we're just going to DCA back into those projects as soon as we return to the, the DCA point, which is probably from 17000 to 20000 about $1,200 ETH. And if, if we're wrong there, if it doesn't return that, this is what we're going to do instead. AK, we have a plan of attack. If someone throws this punch at us, we do this. So, someone does this punch. I don't, I don't know what this analogy is, but bear with me. If someone throws this type of punch at, we're going to counter like this. If we see this punch coming, we're going to do this. But we're not sitting here like, this is what's going to happen. And I know everything. Because that's stupid. And that's how stupid people invest in crypto. Smart people have plans at certain marks. And they know where the market's going to pop up next if this thing pops up. And how to protect themselves from the downside. This is what we're doing right here. Now, I have a bunch of other videos coming on the projects I'm looking at, the projects I'm diving into. The thing I have to stress in this video is do not FOMO into stuff right now. There is a chance we go back to bull. There is probably more upside to be had. Bear market rallies can multiple times go up another 50 to even 100%. There is upside to be had now. As a long-term investor, I don't feel great investing it right now. And as a short-term investor, I don't really feel too, too great taking short-term shots right now. The time to take those short-term shots was at... The last lows. And right now the move is to load up about what could happen. What could happen. Not investing in what's happening right now like everybody else is doing right now. So that's my view on the market, guys. Again, if you're really interested in crypto gaming, you want to see those projects early, you want to get access to tons of products early and be able to invest in them early, I would join Neo Tokyo. I would get an S1 citizen so you're generating bytes so you can actually run on all the platforms that we're building at Neo Tokyo. Again, if you buy an S1, you're not buying it for me. You're buying it for someone else's community. And I just want to get the best people, the people who are most interested in crypto gaming in there. So 
That's all I got, guys. Follow me on Twitter if you want to see these projects a lot earlier as I talk to them, because that's where I'm pointing this stuff out. I don't always have time to make these videos, and I have nothing else to say to you.